Where was CS Interior and National Administration Kidure Kidiki and his trade and investment counterpart Moses Kuria when other ministers were signing performance appraisal contracts? Many Kenyans thought they were locked out by security after arriving late for the event which was happening at State House Nairobi. The meeting that left President Ruto angry because his meeting was delayed by one hour as he remained seated waiting for the ministers to arrive until when his patients ran down and ordered closure of all gates entering State House. Only the two cabinet secretaries were missing during the event. The two have already expressed their good reasons why they missed the event as they were ordered by the president without mentioning traffic jam as a reason. On his side, CS Moses Kuria revealed he was meeting international collaborators in the fight against malaria through innovation and investment worth Kenya sharing 1.3 billion from SC Johnson's. He claimed he was in a very crucial meeting that he couldn't miss with the company's vice president, Global Safety Assessment and Regulatory Affairs Dr. Wamuaru Waichungo, Managing Director, the Chairman and the CEO, Todd Carlson. Senior Director International Tax. He continues to add that he was doing this following the meeting that had happened earlier in April between President Ruto and S.C. Johnson CEO Dr. H. Finsk Johnson. This is enough proof that he was very busy and was unable to reach State House on time. On his side, Kidure Kidiki was immediately called on to respond to security concern in Lam County when hundreds of Al Shabaab militias attacked travelers, where they killed two people as they abducted others. He was called in to mobilize special police unit and KDF special squad to evacuate and ensure they subdue the attackers. This was enough reason as government is in restoring the security situation in that region including the vast Boni forest. President Ruto is expected to make mega changes after he claimed majority of people working in the ministries are unaware of what is happening in their area of work. He added to say, some even you can't reach them on phone. It's also rumored that the whole cabinet is now worried because they don't know what the president is thinking and they may soon see some reshuffle and sacking in the coming days. Now, we will have to wait which action will be taken to the locked out government officers without good reason. Let us all stand at attention for the national anthem, followed by the East African anthem. We'll start with the national anthem. 